Hi, and welcome to Poo Camp. I've gone over to one of my local fields today because I wanted to film these guys, hornet robber flies. And this field is great for them because there's lots of horse poo into which they like to lay their eggs and the adults will sometimes hunt around it eating the flies. There's been no sign of them today, but I did find something else. I found this wasp and I saw it sitting on a horse poo and just moving around. So I've got some footage as you can see here. It turns out this is a field digger wasp. And a big thanks to Stephen Falk, Ed Phillips and Ryan Clark for the identification. And they're not rare, but they're not something I've seen before. And as you expect on horse poo, a fly also landed on it. And it definitely caught the wasp's attention, which then went for it. I gave up on the hornet robber flies and I set up my camera gear and I waited. And waited. And the sun kept going in. And I changed where I was sitting and flushed a fly, only for the wasp to then grab it, of course, when I wasn't set up. So I only managed to get this. But it seemed to like this horse poo, so I stayed there, and this is what happened. It moved around a little and occasionally stopped to have a little clean before flexing its mouth parts. Then a fly flew past and landed just out of shot, and the digger wasp saw it too, so I panned two centimetres to the left as smoothly as I could at a thousand millimetres while shooting at 120 frames per second, which I've slowed down five times here. The green bottle fly, oblivious to digger wasp, moved closer towards its doom. And bam, the wasp grabbed it and disappeared out of sight. I thought the wasp had been successful, and I could just about see it doing something behind the nearest hill of poo. But when this green bottle landed in almost exactly the same spot the wasp had been, I started to doubt it had caught the fly. Only for the wasp then to emerge with a fly, and disappear before I could refocus. But there were still flies about, so I stayed too and I didn't have to wait long. Soon after, the wasp returned and was eyeing up another fly. It was fascinating to watch. It would slowly creep closer, trying to get close enough to pounce. Perhaps calculating the distance between it and the fly. Before launching towards it, grabbing it with as many legs as it could and twisting its abdomen round to sting it, which seemed to quickly kill or paralyse the fly. It then manipulated the fly so it could grab it behind the head. And once it had firmly gripped it, it flew off. I saw it trying to hunt the fly a few times, but sometimes it would move just too much or approach from just the wrong angle and would be seen by the fly, which would realise the threat and leave. Well, the wasp keeps coming back, so I've just been sitting here waiting for a fly to turn up for it to eat and a second wasp has turned up. They've had a few little squabbles and they've managed to miss two or three flies coming in. I think they're too busy with each other. They completely missed one fly. One of the wasps approached the other. And then retreated. And then did it again. But on the third encounter, they squared off. I'm going to try and get some super slow motion, 10 times slow down footage of one catching a fly. That's the plan. Already got some footage, as you've seen. Let's see if I can get some slower stuff. The flies kept flying past and teasing me and the wasps, who would fruitlessly chase them. That's when they weren't too busy staring each other down. Or chasing each other. And occasionally one would seem to stop and look at me. That's despite the fact I was over a metre away and using my 150-400mm lens with a 2 times teleconverter in an effort to avoid disturbing them. One of the wasps has now left. But no flies have landed on the poo, of course. They landed on me, but not the poo. <laughs> then, while I was busy filming the wasp posing, this happened. Okay, that looked good. 
a fly just landed right in front of the wasp on the same focal plane. I managed to zoom in a bit and then the wasp just teased me <laughs> for what seemed like an eternity, probably only two or three seconds, and just watched the fly before it then pounced on it and got it. I filmed the wasp in real time here, creeping closer. But I slowed down the actual strike by 10 times. This time it seemed to sting the fly a few times before then manipulating it so it could hold its head in its mouth. and then fly off with it. The fly will be put in the wasp's burrow where it will become food for the larvae. I tried to capture some more of the hunting by filming the flies and hoping the wasps would pounce on them, but sadly neither the green bottles nor this fresh fly proved tempting enough. And after posing and flexing their mouth parts, the wasp flew off and didn't return. But I had seen and filmed some behaviour I've never seen myself and possibly not been filmed before, with this species at least, so I was happy. Thanks for watching.